Hello friends, uh, this is uh, 2004, October, November, paper 4 and the question number is uh, 4. This is concerned with the chapter electromagnetic induction here. So, uh, it says that a small coil is positioned, uh, small coil here, uh, so that its axis, so its axis here, uh, lies along the axis of a large bar magnet. So, this is the axis of the bar magnet and uh, uh, its axis also is along this uh, axis. The coil has a cross sectional area of a 0 0.40 cm square. So I write it as uh, now it is uh, 0 0.40 into 10 to the power minus 2 minus 4 sorry uh, minus 4 meter square because 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2. So that's why this much and contains uh, 150 tons of wire. The average magnetic flux density B through the coil varies with the distance x between the face of the magnet and the piece of the coil so this is the distance here as a uh, as somewhat like this so it means that uh, as the distance increases the value of the magnetic flux density decreases and it, 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 it happens now the question number a one the coil is a 5.0 centimeter from the face of the this the magnet so this distance is equal to 5.0 centimeter use figure 4.2 4.2 to determine the magnetic flux density in the coil so we have to find the magnetic flux density at uh, 5 centimeters so at 5 centimeters it goes like this it goes like this so this exactly here and this point is somewhere around here so this point is exactly the middle of 40 and 60 so it should be 50 so it is a uh, 50 milli tesla which will be equal to 0 0.050 tesla 50 milli tesla or 0 0.050 tesla now the main uh, uh, question portions start in the next page. In the next page, we have got hence show that the magnetic flux linkage of the coil is 3.0, 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 WB. WB means Weber, the unit of uh, this uh, uh, magnetic flux. So, this uh, flux should be given by flux is equal to B, A, and N. So, B is equal to magnetic flux uh, density. A equal the area of the coil and n is the number of turns there so this b is equal to as we have just to determine here this b is equal to 0 0.050 0 0.050 into the area is equal to as you have done previously here it is equal to from here it is 0 0.40 into 10 to the power minus 4 so it is uh, 0 0.040 into 10 to the power minus 4 into the number of turns the number of turns n is equal to 150 so it's equal to 150 so this value will now be equal to so let me just call it here so uh, fifth uh, so it is a uh, 0 0.050 into uh, 0 point uh, sorry this is a 0 0.4 only i mistakenly write uh, 0 0.0 here so 0 0.4 only so 0 0.4 in exponent minus 4 into 150 so this becomes 0 0.0003 0 0.0003 so it should be equal to 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus 4 Weber so exactly the same answer as stated now uh, number B state for his law of uh, electromagnetic induction so it is about uh, uh, induction of uh, induction of uh, EMF when many free lines uh, uh, sweep through or cut a closed circuit or coil and the magnitude of emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of the flux link to the coil now number c the coil is moved along the axis of the magnet so that the distance x changes from 5 to 15 5 to 15 so inside this in this graph it will be from 5 to 15 here 5 to 15 centimeter in a time of 0 0.30 seconds so calculate the change in flux linkage so we have the flux previous is Flux, flux old is equal to uh, 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 wb and uh, flux new should be equal to equal to uh, we have got b new b new so when the distance changes the value of b changes and area into an area and n remains same so b new should be equal to at 15 centimeter the value of b will be equal to so 15 here it goes directly to this uh, this is 10 this is 8 this is 8 here so that's why our b nu is equal to 8 milli tesla 8 milli tesla and 8 milli tesla when changed to si will be equal to 0 0.008 0 
zero zero eight into uh, into this area is uh, zero point four zero into ten to the power uh, minus four into one fifty here. So therefore, delta phi is equal to just magnitude phi old minus uh, phi new equal to phi old is uh, three point zero into ten to the power minus four minus 0 0.008 into 0 0.40 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 150 so that will be equal to when you use a color this will be equal to uh, so 3.0 exponent minus 4 minus bracket 0 0.008 into 0 0.40 exponent minus 4 into 150 so the value becomes equal to yes it is uh, 2.52 into 10 to the power minus 4 so it is 2.52 into 10 to the power minus 4 wb or whoever so it is 2.52 into 10 to the power minus 4 so this is the uh, this is the change in the flux link is flux link to the coin now number two c2 it says uh the find the average emf induced in the coil so every emf is equal to equal to delta phi by the time taken is equal to it is a 2.52 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided time is a 0 0.30 so when i do this the value becomes equal to 3.52 exponent minus 4 divided 0 0.30 equal to equal to it becomes yeah it becomes 0 0.00.000884 uh, volt is equal to 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 volt so it is 8.4 uh, into 10 to the power minus 4 volts. Now the last question is, send explain the variation if any of the speed of the coil so that the induced EMF remains constant during the movement in C. So we have to, what we have done is, it says that uh, the coil is being brought from here to here, 5 to 15 centimeter. And we have to ensure that as it goes further, we have to ensure that uh, the magnetic field remains constant. Uh, sorry, the EMF remains constant. So what we have here is, what we have here is, uh, this E is equal to, E is equal to uh, D phi by DT, let us say. Or D phi is equal to E into DT. So we have to have this E constant. We have to have this E constant. Now, uh, and we are moving this thing also further away, further away. So as we move further away, uh, the change of phi should will be lesser and lesser the change of phi so as we move as we move the uh, away the change of phi is becoming less and less so here it, go, it changes by so much from here to here but here it changes by this much only this much only from here to here so if i have to keep e constant e constant and if d phi is becoming lesser we have to make dt also lesser so let me repeat that once again we have to have this constant d phi is being lesser and lesser when we go further away so in order to have it constant we must have dt also lesser and lesser so dt lesser means that we have to uh, take them away quickly we have to take them away quickly so what we have to do is in this case is we have to make the movement of the coil faster so this gives the logic here so uh, let's say uh, i have to add the equation like this so it is dt is equal to d phi by e so d phi becoming lesser lesser away from away from magnet magnet so to have uh, lesser so it means that so e is also constant so that means therefore dt should also be should also be lesser lesser which means that which is that that is that it should be quick enough the shifting of the coil should be quick enough outside of the outside of the magnets.